Hello, this is John Calvert, Technology Learning Facilitator for the Clarkstown Central School District. What you're looking at here is Miss Anson's lunch chart and question of the day notebook file, which you can download from the Calvert EdTech Wiki. On the bottom, we've got students' name tags, and a student in the beginning of the day can drag their name tag up to the lunch that they're going to eat and to the question of the day. And the name text box is actually on top of a colored box and they're grouped together and we're going to look at how to group things in this demonstration. Over here we have Joseph and Joseph is on top of a blue box. To group the blue box and the text box together click outside the object that you want to group hold the mouse button down and just circle the two objects together you have to have about 75% of the object uh, circled with the marquee box in order to select it. And you'll notice that both objects have a down pointing arrow in the corner. When I click either one of those down pointing arrows, I get that right click box. And in the middle of the right click box is the grouping option. I roll over that and select group. So let's try that one more time. I'm going to select Owen and the purple box and the text box will be selected together by clicking and dragging a box around them. Click the down pointing arrow in the corner of the selection. Go to grouping and group. Now this file will have these text boxes ready for you to edit and put your own student's name in them. In order to do that you're going to have to ungroup those name tags so that you can change the content of the text box. To ungroup select the name tag that you want to edit, choose the down pointing arrow in the corner and go to grouping and you'll notice that the only thing op the only option available is ungroup. When I choose ungroup I can click off the selection and then double click into that text box in order to change the name. So that's how you group and that's how you ungroup objects. Now chances are when you make your own lunch count file you're going to want to select all of the groups that you've made and you're going to want to lock them and allow move. So I'll let you do that. Uh, have fun grouping objects.